Coming up, I'm going to be talking about Renegade Nell being cancelled, plus a brand new series from both FX and ABC. Well, and more coming up in today's Disney Plus news, but make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest. Hi, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. It's time for a quick Disney Plus news roundup, and unfortunately, let's start off with the bad news because it has been confirmed by Deadline that Renegade Nell is not going to be returning for a second season. The show debuted on Disney Plus earlier this year. They dropped all of the episodes at once back around just around Easter time. And while they did leave it wide open for a second season, uh, they also kind of nicely wrapped up the story. So even though there isn't going to be another series, you at least feel like you got had a natural conclusion, which is good. Not all shows kind of do this one. Apparently, according to um, the report, they just didn't hit the metrics that they needed to. All the people that were involved in it, including the cast, the production, etc., have all been informed of the decision, which obviously sucks. Kind of weird, because I think this was one of the best originals that we've had over the last few years. I did enjoy it. It's obviously one of the biggest British shows. You know, this was a UK made, UK stars. It's a real shame it didn't connect on a global audience. Um, I don't know if it's something to do with advertising. Here in the UK, they were actually advertising it um, quite a lot, obviously because it made sense to do so here. And it just continues to show this problem that Disney Plus has of trying to find originals which can stick and also continues this problem of streaming in general, of canceling shows before they're allowed to get moving. Unfortunately, at the same time, I can see it from the other point of view of Disney don't want to invest money in stuff that isn't working, and if they just felt that this just wasn't working, a second season wasn't necessarily going to make it any better. But yeah, unfortunately, we have now got another cancelled show from Disney+. Plus. They just seem to be really bad at getting anything going really long term. Now, I will say, as per usual with any cancellation, if you haven't yet finished watching the whole season or haven't watched it at all, I would suggest doing it sooner rather than later because Disney does have a tendency to whip things off that they've cancelled after one season um, to try and save money. Not saying that that is going to happen with Renegade Nell, but just be careful that this is a tendency that they do have and always be a air on the side of caution with this kind of stuff. But I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's not? Do you understand why? I'd love to hear all your thoughts on the cancellation of Renegade now in the comments below. Shifting gears now, let's now talk about a brand new series coming from FX called Snowflakes, which has been picked up from a pilot. It's now been given a full series and will be arriving on Hulu and Hulu on Disney Plus in the United States later this year. Also expect it to arrive as a star original on Disney Plus around the world. This brand new series is about... Uh, group of 20-something ensemble cast following a group of codependent housemates to trying to be good people despite being neither good nor people yet. The head of FX Entertainment, Nick Grad, went on to say, we are excited about the exceptional cast and powerhouse comedy team we've assembled for Snowflakes. Not only does it give us a chance to introduce our audience to Ben and Rebecca's brilliant comedic voice, but we also get an opportunity to work again with Nick, Jonathan and Stefani, all incredibly talented veterans of signature FX comedies. Definitely think it's good to see FX FX kind of continuing on with the trend of making new comedy series. They do tend to do some pretty good ones, but they only tend to do a few at a time, but it's nice to see things moving forward. You know, when some shows come to an end, like what we do at The Shadows, they've got to replace them with stuff. And generally, I think FX making comedies um, is pretty good, but let us know, is this something you're interested in? I think it's kind of one that we really kind of need to see what the trailer and stuff looks like at the minute, because it's, it's still very vague. It's just about a group of 20 summits, but Nevertheless, let me know what you think. I also do think that Snowflakes title is bound to cause some controversy and get people talking about it so in some way that's good, some ways it's bad. But yeah, that, I do wonder if that name of the show is going to cause some problems for it and whether or not they kind of continue with that name. Who knows? But they might want that controversy anyway. But let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Shifting gears now. Let's now talk about Shifting Gears, a brand new comedy series which has been developed by 20th Television for ABC. This has now been given a full order by ABC. They've done the pilot. It's going to star Tim Allen. It's also going to be starring Kat Denning, who you might know from shows such as WandaVision. So this brand new series um, features Tim Allen, who plays the lead role of Matt, who is a stubborn widowed owner of a classic car res restoration shop and when his Matt's estranged daughter Riley who's played by Kat who is now divorced and is forced to move back in with her dad's house along with two teenage kids. They've already filmed the, the pilot it went down pretty good and now they've decided to move forward with it and turn it into a series. No word yet on when this one 
is going to be arriving on ABC and Hulu and Hulu and Disney Plus in the US. Again, this will probably be a star original on Disney Plus around the world. More Tim Allen stuff. I think this will be really popular. Obviously, he's been really um, big with not just Santa Clauses, but Home Improvement, Last Man Standing. And it just makes sense for them to continue doing this. And yeah, he's had a fantastic run with Disney with these kind of shows. So it kind of makes sense for them to carry on with it. But yeah, so it looks like Shifting Gears is going to be something to look forward to. Unfortunately... At the same time, Disney has also decided to pass on a comedy called Forget and Forgive, which starred uh, Ty Barrow, who is obviously what well, you might know him as Phil Dunphy from Modern Family. They decided not to move ahead on that project, um, so that they're going to work on, on some other stuff because he does have an overall deal. But generally, yeah, they've taken one, they've not done the other one. Uh, one of the problems with that show was it dealt with dementia and they felt it was a little bit too dark, but... Shifting gears is a little bit more, I think, just st standing there. You know, they can do lots of different stories with the fact of the family moving in with him and him having to adjust and them, it, all this kind of stuff. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Can't really go too wrong with Tim Allen and their sitcom. He's, he's, he's definitely proven his worth for that. But let me know what do you think of this decision in the comments below. And our question of the day, which comes from Dana, who says, Do you think that Wesley Snipes appearing in Deadpool and Wolverine Disney would try to acquire or lease the Blade movies from Warner Brothers Discovery? So I definitely think this is something that they could do, obviously, with Blade, the new movie coming up. Um, Warner Brothers will sell anything to anybody, so it makes sense from their point of view that they might want to do such a thing. Yeah, I could definitely easily see Warner Brothers doing it, and it makes sense from Disney's point of view to get some extra movies and stuff. I mean, they're already licensing stuff anyway. We've got the deal now with the Max deal. We've also got the venue sports. You know, they're, they're kind of working together, so there's a much more bigger chance of it. But then I wouldn't also be surprised if maybe at one point we get like the Max stuff come into Disney Plus as a bundle that way. That might be something that, that they can get around it. But let us know. Would you like to see this on Disney Plus? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. And speaking of Max, we've got another question here from Joe who says, Do you think Max on Disney Plus will come in the UK? If so, would there be an additional charge? So ultimately at the minute, obviously, we've seen what's happening in the US with the bundle with Max. But obviously at the time, it's important to note that they are still technically separate um, platforms. They're just a bundle to save money. You can't actually access the max content through disney plus yet now here in the uk we don't have max yet it's apparently scheduled to be launched next year they've kind of did a long-term deal with sky so all the content is locked into now and that's why they've not been able to do it but they are looking to launch it now i could easily see things moving around where you know max could get offered as a bundle in other countries they could do this um and also, I wouldn't be surprised if Max did end up becoming an add-on within Disney+. Plus. I think Disney could quite like that idea. They've already done it with Hulu. And, you know, they, they started offering some of the streaming services in there. And it just increases engagement, gets people using it more, like Amazon do, etc. I could see them doing it. But obviously, right now, it might just never happen. It might just be a US thing and we shouldn't worry too much about it yet. It's still the fact that Max here in the UK is probably at least a year or so out at least. But would you like to do it? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Remember to go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Check out yesterday's news video where I spoke about a brand new special coming from the UK that's going to be a spin-off of Doctor Who. And on that note, guys, thank you very much. See you guys soon. Laters.